Hi. Today I'm going to talk to you about the science of neuroplasticity. I know, I know, Annie, science, no. But here's why it's important for you. Because I use this science to rewire my own mind to not feel anxious, highly stressed, overwhelmed, irritable, all those things anymore. So stick with me, this can help you. <laughs> if you'd like tips every week about how to live a calm, balanced, and happy life, subscribe, because why not? I'm gonna be using some scientific studies today because first of all, I want you to know that I'm not just making this up. And second of all, <clears throat> it's important to really get into the depth of it. I'm gonna use some analogies too, but I also think I'm a why person and I always have to know why before I'll agree to do something. So I'm gonna take you through a couple of studies and let's get started. This is one systematic study that said, we can conclude that positive emotions such as happiness activate specific brain regions. Stick with me, I'm gonna bring it all home in a minute. Every single thought that you think activates part of your brain. And the reason that's important is because we're going to rewire your brain to be calm, happy, and balanced. But you can't do that without a consistent effort toward it. You can't go and get a, a six pack abs by watching a video, I wish, or doing five sit-ups a day. Nature doesn't work like that. This is a, also a natural solution. Formation and regulation of happiness and positive emotions are associated with significant, now I'm gonna get a little sciency, but I just wanna show you that this has all been proven. Significant reductions in activity in the right prefrontal cortex and in the temporal parietal cortex bilaterally, as well as with increased activity in the left prefrontal regions, especially the dorsolateral and medial prefrontal cortices, the cingulate gyrus, the inferior and middle temporal gyri, the amygdala, and the ventral striatum. I know that's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo to you, but what it's saying is happiness and positive emotions have specific regions in the brain, and guess what? So do negative ones. And here comes an analogy for you. When you're thinking whichever type of thought that is entering your mind, you are strengthening those networks. And the networks are kind of like airline pathways. Let's say everybody in Cincinnati wanted to start going to New York. And for this example, we're gonna call that Stressville. Okay, and I love New York, so this isn't a dig on New York, but that's stressful. So these are your stressful thoughts. What the airline is gonna do, they're going to make lots of different connections. Are you with me? Then if things changed and everybody in Cincinnati wanted to go to Florida, we're gonna call that calm town. Those connections would have to increase and that route would have to become the most expedient. It would have to have more options. And your brain does exactly the same thing with the neural networks. Every single thought that you think activates either the positive or the negative ones. Now, I am oversimplifying and I know that. What is important is for you to understand how your brain got so stressed, anxious, or overwhelmed, and that it can be fixed. That's what I want you to understand. Every stressful thought that you think is going to insulate those pathways so that over time, and you've probably noticed this, when something even remotely stressful comes up, right? It's gonna bam, send you down those flight paths to Stressville before you even know what happened. Why? Because those are the most dominant in your brain. How do we change this? We have to build the calm and happy neural networks. That's how we change this. How do we do that? You think calm and happy thoughts. Wait, that's kind of hard when you're really stressed out and your thoughts tend to be more stressed and negative. I agree. So we need to make concentrated effort to build those pathways. We need to think more positive thoughts. Now, what I found for me was I needed to set aside concentrated amounts of time during the day to do this. And it's kind of like an exercise routine, isn't it? Where you have to set aside 
amount of time in order to accomplish your goals, right? You have to put in the action in order to get your goals met. It's just like you wouldn't go back to your personal trainer. If you had a personal trainer, you really wanted those six pack abs and say, Hey, I didn't build my six pack abs. And the trainer would say, well, did you do the exercises I gave you? And if you say no, then the trainer says, well, you're not going to get the abs without the exercises. This is the same thing here. And that is what I want you to understand. Anything that ignites the happiness, positive pathways are things that you can do. And if you are still with me, you're going to get a huge reward right now. I'm going to tell you about one that I absolutely love and I have it in my program. It's called the Calm Code. I'm not here to try to sell you on my program, but people told me I need to tell people about it because they might be interested in it. But this is called Happy Sparks. And what you do is you make a slideshow on your phone or your computer of pictures that spark great feelings for you. They spark happiness. They spark joy. They spark fun. It can be a past trip, a past memory, a future trip. You can get pictures online and make these slideshows. Canva actually has a free slideshow maker that you can use, which is great. You can do it on your smartphone and use your own photos. And then what you do when you have these slideshows together is you set a timer and you look through them and be sure to feel all of those great positive emotions as you're going through it, because what are you going to do? Yes. That's exactly right. You're going to be building those positive, happy neural pathways in your mind that you want to build. I hope this made sense for you today. I'm going to keep talking about neuroplasticity in different videos because I think it's really important and it changed my brain. It changed my life and I want to share it with as many people as I can, because I know how horrible it can be to be in that spot. My goodness, every time I talk about this, I start crying. <laughs> but it is, it's awful. It's not a good place to be. And I want to help people not live there. So if this was at all helpful for you, please hit the like button so more people can find out about it. If you'd subscribe, that would be fabulous too. And if you're interested in the program that I mentioned, it's at mycomcode.com. Thanks for sticking with me today. I really hope it was helpful and I will see you soon.